our guest in this second segment is Sid Allen, President and CEO of the Midland Area Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Community Focus. Thanks, Judy. Good to be here. All right. Most Midland residents understand the role that the Chamber of Commerce plays in promoting business in our community. But you've come today to tell us more about something that maybe we're not so aware of as far as um, how the commerce um, helps our community, and that's educational ventures. That's right. You know, we feel very strongly about developing the quality of life in the community, and certainly educational development is part of that. So we work closely with the local school districts, uh, even with the local colleges and universities, to try and develop uh, our education programs and create a solid workforce that our businesses can rely on in the future. Well, it certainly makes sense. Everybody benefits from that. Mm. Uh, now, May is bringing Graduation Day for the Young Entrepreneurs Academy, is that correct? That's right. Tell us about that. Well, that's a great program that we started back in 2013. Uh, it kind of blends what the Chamber of Commerce is all about and with that quality of life uh, initiative that I told you about, we try and create jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, we try and create new businesses. And so high school students uh, and all, all the way down to eighth graders uh, sign up for our Young Entrepreneurs Academy, or YAY for short. Mm -hmm. And they actually that was a great acronym, yeah, by the way. <laughs> they actually develop businesses uh, from the very onset all the way through um, uh, rounding up money for their venture and actually putting the business into operation. Wow, what a what a great real world kind of activity for them. Now, is that a whole year program? Just about. Uh, we start in November with the first class, and it runs through May. We actually, uh, with the recruiting added on to get kids into the program, it actually is pretty much of a full year mm -hmm. endeavor. Well. I could see that there would be a lot of students who'd be interested in that. How would they enroll? Well, they actually can go through their counselor at the schools, mm -hmm. and uh, each year we have about 18 to 20 students that participate. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to get too big because we want to give them that specialized attention they need sure. to start their business. Uh, they have mentors, though, that help them along the way, and we have a, a set path. This is part of a national organization, yeah. this YAY program, that kind of gives us some good guidelines as to how to follow. But uh, uh, they start in November and they wind up hopefully a successful business people in May. Wow, that's great. So it's a national program. Have any of your students ever gone on to national recognition in this program? Well, they have. Actually, the first year, a young lady by the name of Lily Baker, mm -hmm. who developed uh, wallpapers for lockers at schools, <laughs> what uh, a good idea. Uh, went to uh, New York to try and win some scholarship money. And this year, a young lady by the name of Hope Kessler is going to New York to try and win some scholarship money uh, for her textbook covers idea. Well, those and, uh, kind of go right together. They should be uh, partners almost. Well, well, absolutely, and they could be at some point. A lot of our kids do partner with each other to create and develop ideas, but hopefully uh, they'll, uh, 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 hope in this case, will uh, be successful uh, in the regional competition in New York and move on to the national competition where she could win some significant scholarship money. That's a wonderful benefit as well. Now, I understand that the Chamber has other educational ventures. Uh, you mentioned Reality Stores was one of them. That's right. That's mm -hmm. a program that's been with us for uh, over a decade now. And uh, Reality Stores actually teaches eighth graders uh, how to manage money. And uh, I've actually thought that maybe some adults might want to take the program <laughs> really too. too. <laughs> but uh, we actually give them a scenario. Maybe they're married, maybe they're single, maybe they have kids, maybe they don't. Uh, we give them the scenario, how much money they're making, and they go through a series of uh, stations uh, at their schools to spend their money and try and learn how to uh, spend some of it and keep some of it aside for savings. And uh, it's a very good exercise. It gets them thinking a little bit about their personal finances. So that's uh, available to all the schools in Midland County? That's right, all yeah. the schools in Midland County. They're eighth graders, although we have piloted the program for uh, high school students. Mm -hmm. But we started out and our, our main group is eighth graders and every eighth grader in uh, every school in Midland County goes through the Reality Store program. Very good. I also know that the Chamber supports several scholarships for uh, students entering college. That's right. We have a scholarship program it's called Chamber Scholars uh, where we award four $2,500 scholarships to local students. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some criteria they follow, but really our criteria is not as stringent as some scholarship programs. Uh, and, and we wanted to make the uh, amounts 
uh, enough so that they could feel like they're really getting a good award. So these $2,500 scholarships uh, go to help some students that uh, really need the help and are going to further their education. Good deal. Now I know that the scholarships and the educational outreach are funded by chamber members, but I understand there's kind of a unique and fun way that the members and also any non-members who want to can help out with that funding. So tell us a little bit about that upcoming trip to Ireland. Yeah, that's a great uh, great way to fund a scholarship. I think, that, uh, <laughs> I we started it, yeah, we started out and got the support from CBM Services that uh, actually provided four years of scholarship funding. But after that, we needed to find a fundraiser that we could fund the scholarships. And so we developed our global networking program. The first year we took a group to China, the second mm -hmm. year we took a group to Italy, and this year we're taking a group to Ireland in the fall. And the proceeds from those trips are what fund our scholarship program. That's really a great idea. And you idea. can come along. <laughs> I could. <laughs> now that I know about it, I'm excited. Now the whole community knows, too. Well, for more information on those offerings, uh, are all those things on the Chamber's website? They are, www.macc.org. All right. Well, thank you, Sid, for that update on the educational offerings in our community. You bet. Anytime. All right. In our next segment, we're going to learn more about our own MBS International Airport.